Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of is it a scam or not? In this video, we'll be talking about Hex and Richard Hart. A lot of people have been calling Hex a scam and Richard Hart a scammer and a con man, so I thought I'd do my research. Now this is all old information, but since Hex is being airdropped soon, people might be looking into what Hex is and there's quite a bit of posts on the internet saying that it's a scam. Along with that, there's many posts saying that the founder is a scammer and a con man. However, with all these articles and comments, I wasn't able to find all this information in one place. So I thought I'd do the research and put it all in one place for you guys so that you don't have to spend hours reading long ass articles on a bunch of different websites and going through hundreds of comments. Let's start with Hex and why people are calling it a scam. I found an article that shows that Richard Hart said this. And he is probably correct on that point. However, there's a technical point which makes his liquidity point not useful. And that is the Ethereum network is down often because they use a blockchain and the blockchain fills up just like ours. And it fills up faster because they have larger blocks. And so there's literally a competition to shove your transaction into the new ICO as a miner before you let actual normal retail people in so that you can get the coins before they run out. So there's already front running going on in Ethereum mining. There's already full blocks going on in Ethereum mining, and there's already millions upon millions of dollars being lost to gigantic attack surface in Ethereum. And I am glad that the poison and problems and bad design decisions that Vitalik and his crew made, which are unrepairable, I might add, multiple consensus implementations, implementations from different software languages from different teams, are very much more likely to fall out of consensus than a single software implementation. It's very hard to write one thing that doesn't have bugs. It's exponentially harder to write two and more things that don't have bugs. The article then says that a year and a half later, the same Richard Hart is trying to promote what he proposes as a better version of Bitcoin, which is built on top of the same Ethereum, which he deemed unrepairable, down so often, biased towards ICOs, more likely to fail than Bitcoin, and the reason why millions of people lose money. This change of heart, terrible pun intended, comes in a moment when the market is down and the interest for new cryptocurrency projects, be that ICO tokens or new coins on proprietary blockchains, is the lowest it has been since 2017. Assuming that no whale will sign up for a Bitcoin hex and Richard Hart is the wealthiest of Bitcoiners to join the project, he will then also become the biggest participant who has the godly power to manipulate the price as soon as the coin gets listed on exchanges. The market sentiment can be adjusted by the self-entitled thought leader every week on the show, uh, referring to his YouTube channel. As the viewers will most likely get encouraged to hodl their hex through mysterious dumps, it almost sounds too good to be true. So that's what the article said, but in Richard's YouTube videos, he's very open about the fact that he changed his opinion on Ethereum. He admits when he's wrong. So for example, he tells us how he used to hate Ethereum and was a Bitcoin maximalist. I'm not sure why this article says that it sounds almost too good to be true, as it costs you nothing to receive your free hex. Someone said that it seems to be a Ponzi scheme, and yes, people get their free worthless tokens, but then they get encouraged each week during one of Richard's live streams to use their Bitcoin to buy more hex. The distribution becomes concentrated in the hands of a few, and as soon as exchanges list hex, the pump and dump game begins. So yes, some people might be encouraged to buy Hex, but Richard isn't telling you to go buy it. He's telling people to claim it for free. And why would you not want to get free tokens anyway? If you look at the FAQ on the Hex website, one of the questions is, is this a scam? The answer says, no. The project is founded by respected members of the community. It is open source. The base ERC-20 contracts have been audited. The modified ERC-20 contracts will be audited. You run the code yourself, it is fairly launched and free to claim for Bitcoin holders. Again, free tokens, and if you already have Bitcoin anyway, why not claim Hex? If you don't like Hex, just claim it and get rid of it. As for the part that says the project is founded by respected members of the community, I find that interesting as there's only four members on the team, which is a red flag for some people. And aside from Richard, which a lot of people hate, nobody really knows these three other guys. Plus one of them, Brent Morrissey, is in a rock band, and I'm not sure how these are respected members of the community, but all right. It's not like we're talking about Vitalik or Hoskinson, so I feel that there was a wrong choice of words there. Anyways, um, another comment that I found says, if Mr. Hart wants to help his viewers make money, maybe he himself shouldn't participate as it's very likely that he owns the most Bitcoins of everybody following the development of Hex. 
No whale would ever compromise their privacy by becoming associated with this kind of scheme, so the entire whale tax gimmick is just a psychological trick to reassure people who own small amounts of Bitcoin that this project was made for them. The market sentiment can be influenced by Richard who will remind those who missed out on the airdrop that they can still get tokens for a relatively small price. Again, the market sentiment of Hex is being mentioned and I agree that it could be influenced by Richard because a Twitter user pointed out that the smart contract pays Richard or the Hex team one token for every token created. Even if he claims zero Hex with a Bitcoin address, the contract pays him one Hex for every Hex he claimed. I found another comment that says, how is anyone supposed to get rich holding a worthless token? That's right, through exchanges. As soon as Hex gets listed on exchanges and fools trade their Bitcoin for Richard Hart's promise of overnight enrichment, dumps will begin to happen. And trust me, you and I will be the last to find out the news. By the time anything significant happens with the project to justify a price jump, the sell orders will already have been submitted. There's also the question of why now? We're in the middle of a bear market, a lot of people have left, but that's exactly the point. The minimal participation ensures a higher concentration of tokens in the hands of a few. First of all, when did Richard promise overnight enrichment? I don't recall him ever saying that. So I don't know where this dude gets his information from, but okay. Um, somebody else said that if Hex was an ICO, the Securities and Exchange Commission would prosecute it in no time. But given the free nature of the offering and the unregulated state of affairs in the cryptocurrency space, people can still get away with creating such schemes. This isn't a call for stricter regulations, but a call for reason. When it's all over, only the founders who get to find out first about exchange listings and incoming money will get rich. Everybody else is a loser in either financial or time management terms. So the fact that it's free and there's no need to invest in anything, I'm not sure why this guy insists that it's a scheme. And of course the founders will be the first to find out about exchange listings. Like, am I dumb or is that not the same with every crypto? I, 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 what? Obviously, if something's going to get listed on exchange, wouldn't the founder be the first to know when they have to, like, agree to that shit? That's not just, uh, oh, surprise, like, unless I'm stupid, like, I, pff, I don't know how that has anything to do with anything, but all right. Some people have been saying that Hex is a pyramid scheme. So if you look at the FAQ on the Hex website, one of the questions says, is this a pyramid scheme? The answer to that says, no, there's only a single tier refer program for the first 50 weeks and no refer program after that. Also, pyramid schemes usually involve people having to buy shit and put money in, and that's not required for you to claim your free hex. So I don't know how people keep coming up with scheme and scam and I don't know. Um, moving on, here are some comments I found on Reddit. Somebody said, um, hex is a scam because Bitcoin has no privacy. That's a new one. King086 responded with, Maximalists are just grasping at straws to call projects they don't like scams. Use Tor and claim and dump if you don't like it. Right? Like, hello, I don't know why people are bitching. Like, if you really don't like it that much and you really don't even want to claim it, then don't claim it and shut up and move on with your life. Like, I don't know. Somebody else said, I remember, he said if everyone can start a scam coin and get rich, why can't it be me? Okay. Someone said, Richard is cool and smart guy with some great points, but overall, I'm not buying that Bitcoin hex idea. And in response, Ali480 said, you don't buy into Bitcoin hex, it's free though, right? Like, you don't have to buy it. I don't know why this has to be repeated over and over and over that it's free and you don't have to put money in, so therefore you are not getting scammed. I, I, I don't know. Um, and then somebody else said, LOL, whatever haters, watch as Bitcoin Hex pumps to the top three while you sit there and regret not claiming yours for free. How can it be a scam if he's airdropping it to Bitcoin holders? My goodness, the butt hurt is cringy. So what do you guys think about Hex? Is it a scam or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now moving on to Richard Hart. Is he a scammer and a con man? Let's take a look. Richard Hart is not his real name, and when asked about this in his YouTube videos, he's open about the fact that Richard Hart is a pen name. He said that until he launches a project that requires people to invest, he will not give up his true identity. 
I don't get why he doesn't want to give up his true identity right away, and I don't see the big deal. However, that's his decision, and if he's not asking people to invest in anything, then what's wrong with using a pen name? That doesn't make somebody a scammer. However, his real name is Richard James Schuler, and he was known as the Spam King because back in the early 2000s, he was sued for sending a bunch of spam emails, including forged return addresses and misleading subject lines. A guy named Jonathan Sterling contacted Richard Hart and mentioned to him that he raised some red flags and wanted Richard to clear things up. So here are some screenshots of the conversation. So this guy is asking why he's not using his real name and Richard Hart says that showbiz names are better and that once he starts asking people for money, he'll be using his real name. Richard then threatened the guy by saying that they're partners now and that when and if some guys come fuck with him, they will be going after Jonathan too. Obviously, Richard was just messing with this guy, but that's still really unprofessional, especially when you're the face of Hex. And on top of that, he could have definitely handled it in a much better way, knowing that people take shit so seriously on the internet and get butt hurt about everything. This wasn't a smart move. However, I feel this other dude was just being really annoying and saying shit like, oh, I'm on the phone with my lawyer now. Like, it's supposed to scare Richard or something. Like, no, he doesn't care because he didn't do anything. He's joking around and trying to piss the guy off. Plus, this guy is so bothered by the fact that Richard is using a pen name. Like Richard said, until he's asking people for money, there's no need for him to use his real name. Even then, you can still use a pen name. A lot of people do. It's not like his real name is hidden and no one will ever find out. I'm pretty sure Richard's smart enough to know that all the information on him from years ago was on the internet and a quick Google search will bring that shit up. It's not like it's on page 100 of Google. It's on fucking page one. Plus that Spam King stuff happened over 10 years ago and this Jonathan guy is so concerned about it. I find that funny coming from someone who went to jail for rape. But anyways, it was over 10 years ago and it wasn't like he was scamming people. It was only spam email. There's a difference. People make mistakes sometimes and do dumb shit. So move on. And it's funny because then Richard says this. I'll show a screenshot of this, this message. And uh, the guy responds with, do you think there's anything inherently wrong with incest? Like he doesn't shut up and realize that Richard's just trolling him. And instead he's got to have a stupid answer for everything. So no wonder Richard blocked him afterwards. So yeah, I mean, Richard could have handled this in a more professional and nice way, but then again, he can say whatever the hell he wants. Plus people keep calling him a scammer. So of course he'd be pissed or annoyed about that. If it were me, I'd be pissed off too. If you guys want to read the whole conversation between the two, I'll put the link for that below. I also found this video in an article where someone said that you can see this early video of Richard on YouTube with a long beard trying to spam for anti-aging scams. So I'll play that video for you guys right now. Hello, my name is Richard Schuler. I'm a volunteer for the Methuselah Foundation. YouTube was nice enough to provide us this channel. We'd like to thank them for that. If you would like, you can visit our website at mfoundation.org or uh, you can check out Aubrey de Grey's new book at Amazon.com called Ending Aging. Over the next few weeks, we'll be adding some uh, videos from Mr. de Grey, and we hope that you'll enjoy them. So I don't understand how that video screams scammer. I mean, other than looking like Jesus, I, I don't know what is wrong about that video. So unless someone has proof and evidence that he actually scammed people with this company and whatever, like... Let me know. I'd love to know, but couldn't find anything about it. There's also this comment that says he was involved with some sort of robbery, not at his fault, or maybe it was because of who he ran with, where he was robbed in Panama. The comment also included a link that says, Master Sick Mind, Young Thief and Extortionist, alias James Hart, James Richard, or charity lover multiple identities of who we think is called Richard James Schuler, And he's also got a lot of fake IDs. Apparently some people have been saying that he also has a lot of fake and paid followers on Twitter and YouTube. I did a quick check and found this, which shows majority of his followers are real. Even if he did buy followers, that's not the end of the world. That doesn't scream scammer, and a lot of celebrities buy followers, and it's actually not uncommon at all. Just take a look at these celebrity accounts. Anyways, Richard is very active on Twitter and Telegram, and he doesn't only post about hex and crypto. He shares a lot of interesting things. Now, in my opinion, if he was a scammer, wouldn't he just be posting about hex or posting links, asking for people to buy things, right? 
Well, he's not doing that. Instead, he gives out free information, and it's valuable information. He doesn't monetize any of his YouTube videos, which he fully could. He's going to be giving out free hex and has a free sci-fi book, which I started reading and it's really good so far. I remember Richard Hart mentioning that it won't be free once it's done, so make sure to check it out now if you guys are interested. I'll put the link for that below. Anyways, if he was this super clever, evil scammer mastermind guy, wouldn't he choose any other scam to pull off that would not include using his image and his name? I don't know, just a thought. Unless he's like so clever that he's hiding in plain sight. But anyways, I don't know about you guys, but I really like Richard Hart. And I feel that he isn't this bad guy that people make him out to be. A lot of people say that he's too into himself. He's cocky and has a big ego and whatever. But does that make somebody a scammer? No, of course not. Plus, if that's how he really is, he can be cocky all he wants. We don't know his life and what he's been through and how hard he's worked to get to where he is now. He's a smart guy giving up free information and airdrops and people are bitching that he's cocky? Jesus Christ, welcome to the internet. Anyways, I don't think Richard Hart is a scammer and a con man. Who was he scammed? No one. If he scammed people, there would be a lot of people complaining if he was a scammer. And I don't think Hex is a scam either. He talks about how proud he is of his project on his YouTube channel and I watch a lot of his videos. They're really long, but they have so much information, and I love listening to him talk about crypto and to hear his view on things. I also found a video where Richard gives his side of the story on the Spam King and the Twitter messages, so I'll put the video for that below if you guys want to check it out, and I'll put the timestamp for the part that shows where he starts talking about it. That's pretty much it for this video, so what do you guys think of Hex and Richard Hart? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Is it a scam or not? Is he a scammer or not? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more as I have a lot of other crypto content on my channel. And that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.